Buddha's birthday is a holiday traditionally celebrated in most of East Asia to commemorate the birth of the Prince Siddhartha Gautama, later the Gautama Buddha and founder of Buddhism. It is also celebrated in South and Southeast Asia as Vesak which also acknowledges the enlightenment and death of the Buddha. According to the Theravada Tripitaka scriptures from Pali, meaning three baskets. Gautama was born c. 563–480 BCE in Lumbini in modern-day Nepal, and raised in the Shakya capital of Kapilvastu, in the present-day Tilorakot, Nepal. At the age of 35, he attained enlightenment nirvana underneath a Bodhi tree at Bodhgaya modern-day India. He delivered his first sermon at Sarnath, India. At the age of 80, he died at Kushinagar, India. The exact date of Buddha's birthday is based on the Asian lunisolar calendars. The date for the celebration of Buddha's birthday varies from year to year in the Western Gregorian calendar, but usually falls in April or May. In leap years, it may be celebrated in June. Date The exact date of Buddha's birthday is based on the Asian lunisolar calendars and is primarily celebrated in Baisak month of the Buddhist calendar and the Bikram Sambat Hindu calendar, and hence it is also called Visak. In modern-day India and Nepal, where the historical Buddha lived, it is celebrated on the full moon day of the Vaisaka month of the Buddhist calendar. In Theravada countries following the Buddhist calendar, it falls on a full moon Uposatar day, typically in the fifth or sixth lunar month. In China and Korea, it is celebrated on the eighth day of the fourth month in the Chinese lunar calendar. The date varies from year to year in the Western Gregorian calendar, but usually falls in April or May. In leap years it may be celebrated in June. In Tibet, it falls on the seventh day of the fourth month of the Tibetan calendar in May. <laughs> South and Southeast Asia and Mongolia In South Asian and Southeast Asian countries as well as Mongolia, Buddha's birthday is celebrated on the full moon day of the Vaisaka month of the Buddhist calendar and the Hindu calendar, which usually falls in April or May month of the Western Gregorian calendar. The festival is known as Buddha Purnima, as Purnima means full moon day in Sanskrit. It is also called is Buddha Jayanti, with Jayanti meaning birthday in Sanskrit language. The corresponding Western Gregorian calendar dates varies from year to year. 2017, May 10, 2018, April 29, Sri Lanka, Cambodia, Myanmar, Bangladesh, April 30th, Nepal, India, May 29th, Singapore, Thailand, Malaysia and Indonesia. 2019, May 19th. Topic: East Asia. In many East Asian countries Buddha's birth is celebrated on the eighth day of the fourth month in the Chinese lunar calendar in Japan since 1873 on April 8 of the Gregorian calendar, and the day is an official holiday in Hong Kong, Macau and South Korea. The date falls from the end of April to the end of May in the Gregorian calendar. The primarily solar Gregorian calendar date varies from year to year 2017, May 3 2018, May 22 2019, May 12 2020, April 30 
Topic: Taiwan In 1999 the Taiwanese government set Buddha's birthday as the second Sunday of May, the same date as Mother's Day. <inaudible> Japan As a result of the Meiji Restoration, Japan adopted the Gregorian calendar in lieu of the Chinese lunar calendar in 1873. However, it took approximately until 1945, the end of World War II, for religious festivities to adopt the new calendar. In most Japanese temples, Buddha's birth is now celebrated on the Gregorian calendar date April 8, only a few mainly in Okinawa celebrate it on the Orthodox Chinese calendar date of the eighth day of the fourth lunar month. Topic: Celebrations in each country. Topic: Asia. Topic: Bangladesh. In Bangladesh, the event is called Buddha Purnima or Buddha Purnima. On the day of preceding Purnima Buddhist monks and priests decorate temple in colorful decorations and candles. On the day of the festival the President and Prime Minister deliver speeches about the history and importance of Buddhism and religious harmony in the country. From noon onwards large fairs are held in and around temples and viharas selling bangles, food largely vegetarian, clothes, toys and conducting performances of Buddha's life Buddhist music teaching about the Dharma and the five precepts. Later on Buddhists attend a congression inside the monastery where the chief monk would deliver a speech discussing the Buddha and the Three Jewels and about living the ideal life after which a prayer to the Buddha would be conducted and people would then light candles and recite the Three Jewels and Five Precepts. Cambodia. <inaudible> <inaudible> In Cambodia, Buddha's birthday is celebrated as Visak Bo Chir and is a public holiday where monks around the country carry flags, lotus flowers, incense and candles to acknowledge Visak. People also take part in alms giving to the monks. China. In China, celebrations may occur in Buddhist temples where people may light incense and bring food offerings for the monks. In Hong Kong, Buddha's birthday is a public holiday. Lanterns are lit to symbolize the Buddha's enlightenment and many people visit the temple to pay their respects. The bathing of the Buddha is a major feature of Buddha's birthday celebrations in the city. The festival is also a public holiday in Macau. Topic: <inaudible> India. India is the land where the Buddha attained enlightenment, nirvana, at Bodhgaya and established Buddhism. Buddha spent majority of his life in what is now modern-day India. Some of the holiest sites associated with Buddha's life include Bodhgaya, place of enlightenment, Sarnath, site of first sermon, Sravasti and Rajgir, site where Buddha spent the greater part of his monastic life and delivered majority of his discourses, and Kushinagar, site where Buddha attained parinirvana and passed away under Emperor Ashoka. Buddhism spread from India to other nations. 
Buddha Purnima or Buddha Jayanthi in South India or Tathagata is a public holiday in India. The public holiday for Buddha Purnima in India was initiated by Bhimrao Ramji Ambedkar when he was the Minister of Social Justice. It is celebrated especially in Sikkim, Ladakh, Arunachal Pradesh, Bodh Gaya, various parts of North Bengal such as Kalimpong. Darjeeling, and Kursiong, and Maharashtra where 73% of total Indian Buddhists live and other parts of India as per Indian calendar. Buddhists go to common viharas to observe a rather longer than usual, full-length Buddhist sutra, akin to a service. The dress code is pure white. Non-vegetarian food is normally avoided. Kheer, a sweet rice porridge is commonly served to recall the story of Sajata, a maiden who, in Gautama Buddha's life, offered the Buddha a bowl of milk porridge. Informally called, Buddha's birthday, it actually commemorates the birth, enlightenment nirvana, and death of Gautama Buddha in the Theravada tradition. Tibetans in exile remember Buddha's birthday on the seventh day of the Saga Dawa month, fourth month of the Tibetan calendar, which culminates with Buddha's Parinirvana celebrations on the full moon day. It is said that the Buddha originally followed the way of asceticism to attain enlightenment sooner, as was thought by many at that time. He sat for a prolonged time with inadequate food and water, which caused his body to shrivel so as to be indistinguishable from the bark of the tree that he was sitting under. Seeing the weak Siddhartha Gautama, a woman named Sajata placed a bowl of kheer in front of him as an offering. Realizing that without food one can do nothing, the Buddha refrained from harming his own body. Thereafter, he would go on to attain nirvana. Topic: <inaudible> Indonesia. In Indonesia, Buddha's birthday is celebrated as Waisak and is a public holiday. A large procession beginning in Mendut in Java ends at Borobudur, the largest Buddhist temple in the world. Topic: Japan. In Japan, Buddha's birthday is known as Kanbutsu-e, Japanese Guanfohui or Hanamatsuri, flower festival, Japanese Huajiri, and is held on April 8. Buddha's birth is also celebrated according to the Buddhist calendar, but is not a national holiday. On this day, all temples hold Jiangdan Hui, Goten E, Fosheng Hui Basho E, Yufo Hui Yokubutsu E, Long Hua Hui Ryoge E, and Hua Hui Shi Hana Eshiki. Japanese people pour Ama Cha, a beverage prepared from hydrangea serrata, a variety of hydrangea, on small Buddha statues decorated with flowers, as if bathing a newborn baby. The tradition of bathing the Buddha originated in China and was introduced to Japan where it was first held in Nara in 606. Lion dancing is also a major tradition practiced during Buddha's birthday and has become associated with the festival in Japan. Malaysia. In Malaysia, Buddha's birthday is celebrated as Wisak Day and is a public holiday celebrated by the sizable minority Buddhist population in the country. Temples across the country are decorated and caged animals are set free. People engage in prayers, chanting and giving across the country. Mongolia 
In Mongolia, Buddha's birthday is celebrated as Ikh Duokan and its date is determined by the Mongolian lunar calendar. As a result, the date falls in line with celebrations of Buddha's birthday, the Sak in South and Southeast Asian countries as opposed to neighboring East Asian countries. While not a public holiday the festival is popularly celebrated by many Mongolian Buddhists. Myanmar <inaudible> 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 In Myanmar, Buddha's birthday is celebrated as full moon of Kaysen and is a public holiday. It is celebrated by watering the body tree and chanting. In large pagodas music and dance is also performed as part of the celebrations. <laughs> Nepal In Nepal, the birthplace of Buddha, his birthday is celebrated on the full moon day of May. The festival is known by various names Buddha Jayanti, Buddha Purnima, Vaishak Purnima, Saga Dawa, and Visak. Purnima means full moon day in Sanskrit. Among the Nuas of Nepal, especially from the Shakya clan of Nuas, it is of great importance because they consider it as a continuation of the sage of the Sakyas the clan that Lord Buddha's family belonged to. Thus, they celebrate the festival which is in their language known as Swanya Punhi, Svanya Punhi the full moon day of flowers. The day marks not just the birth of Shakyamuni Gautam Buddha but also the day of his enlightenment and Mahaparinirvana. The event is celebrated by gentle and serene fervor, keeping in mind the very nature of Buddhism. People, especially women, go to common viharas to observe a rather longer than usual, full length Buddhist sutra, as something like a service. The usual dress is pure white. Non-vegetarian food is normally avoided. Kheer, a sweet rice porridge is commonly served to recall the story of Sajata. Buddha Purnima is biggest day for Buddhist because on this day there happens to be the main three events of Buddha's life, birth, attained enlightenment and attained parinirvana, and is termed as thrice blessed festival. North Korea Buddha's birthday is occasionally designated as a public holiday in North Korea and is known as Chopel Korean. Designation of traditional Korean holidays as public holidays in North Korea are determined by the cabinet a few days before the traditional holiday begins. Buddha's birthday is a traditional festival in Korean culture and was celebrated in Korea long before the division of the country as a result the festival is also celebrated in North Korea by the country's Buddhist population. <laughs> Philippines Around 2% of the population in the Philippines is Buddhist. Buddha's birthday celebrated as Vesak Tagalog, Aro Ng Bisyak is not a public holiday but is celebrated by the small community of Buddhists in the country. The bathing of the Buddha statue is a significant part of the celebrations in the country. Singapore In Singapore, Buddha's birthday is celebrated as Vesak or Vesak Day and is a public holiday in the country. Buddhist temples hold celebrations and are decorated with Buddhist flags and flowers. Devotees also bring offerings to the temples. Topic: South Korea. 
In South Korea, the birthday of Buddha is celebrated according to the Korean lunar calendar and is a public holiday. This day is called Seogatanzanal meaning, Buddha's birthday, or Bukhinamosanal meaning, the day when the Buddha came. Lotus lanterns hang in temples throughout the month and lanterns are hung in homes and in the streets. On the day of Buddha's birth, many temples provide free meals and tea to all visitors. The breakfast and lunch provided are often sanche bibimbap. Buddha's birthday is a popular holiday and folk celebration in Korea and is often celebrated by people of all religious beliefs. Sri Lanka In Sri Lanka, Buddha's birthday is celebrated as Vasak and is a public holiday celebrated on the first full moon day of the month of May. Its date is determined by the Buddhist lunar calendar. People engage in religious observances and decorate houses and streets with candles and paper lanterns as well as bamboo-framed lanterns. Dansalas is practiced and refers to the free offering of food and drink to people. Bakthi G, devotional songs are sung and pandals which are decorative gateways are erected throughout the country. Temples around the country also hold celebrations and devotees bring offerings and burn incense. Electric light displays that depict stories from the Buddha's life are also a notable part of the Sak celebrations in the country. Taiwan <inaudible> 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 In Taiwan, Buddha's birthday is a national anniversary. Devotees pour fragrant water over Buddha statues to symbolize the beginning of a fresh start in life. Thailand In Thailand, Buddha's birthday is celebrated as Visakha Puja and is a public holiday. People gather at temples to hear sermons, give donations and chant prayers. <inaudible> <inaudible> Vietnam Buddha's birthday is celebrated throughout Vietnam. Many Buddhist temples hold celebrations that attract people from around the country and pagodas around the country are decorated. From 1958 to 1975, Le Phat Dan on the eighth day of the fourth month in the Chinese lunar calendar was recognized as a national public holiday in South Vietnam, enjoyed with float and lantern parade on the streets. Topic: Festivities outside Asia. Topic: Australia. In Sydney, Buddha's birthday is celebrated at the Nan Tien Temple in Wollongong, Australia and another celebration also organised by Nan Tien Temple is held at Darling Harbour which features Buddha's birthday ceremony, a variety of vegetarian food and culture stalls and multicultural performances from China, Japan, Vietnam, Korea, India, Malaysia, Sri Lanka, Australia and other cultures. Other temples in the Fo Guang Shan Nan Tian Temple group in Australia on the eighth day of the fourth month of the China lunar calendar also hold celebrations. In Brisbane, Buddha Birthday Festival is held annually and features a variety of Pan-Asian food and performances from multicultural acts. 
It is a weekend-long festival which draws over 200,000 visitors. In Melbourne, the weekend-long festival called Buddha's Day and Multicultural Festival is held at Federation Square around April, May. In Perth, a two-day celebration also known as Buddha's Day and Multicultural Festival is held at Langley Park. Local Buddhist temples and smaller towns around the country, such as Bendigo, Victoria, also hold celebrations. On the Australian external territory of Christmas Island, Buddha's birthday is celebrated as Visak Day and is celebrated alongside many other celebrations common in Australia and Malaysia, as well as local celebrations of the island. Topic: Brazil. Vesak Hanumatsuri is widely known and celebrated in Brazil due to the country's large Japanese community. Hanumatsuri has grown in popularity and also attracts interest from the wider non-Japanese Brazilian population. As a result, Hanamatsuri has become a consumerist culture phenomenon in the country and is sometimes locally known as Festa das Flores. Hanamatsuri is celebrated in the Sao Paulo neighborhood of Liberdade which is home to the largest Japanese community outside of Japan. Hanamatsuri celebrations in Liberdade began in 1966 and includes a parade on Galvao Bueno Street and celebrations at the suburb's major shopping center, Liberdade Plaza, among other things. <laughs> Canada In Toronto, three Buddhist temples representing the three main branches of Buddhism organize an annual event known as Visak, Buddha's birthday. It is held at Mississauga Celebration Square and features a number of Buddhist-themed events and activities as well as cultural acts from Asia, including China, Sri Lanka and Vietnam. United States of America Celebration of Buddha's birthday in the United States differ from community to community, depending on ethnicity and nationality. The Japanese celebration on 8 April has been significant in the Bay Area for some decades. In 1968 the first circumambulation of Mount Tamalpay to celebrate Buddha's birthday was conducted. Starting in 1969 at Tassajara Zen Mountain Center, Hana Matsuri was celebrated each spring. Dressed in formal black robes, the roughly 70 monks and students formed a formal procession to the horse pasture with the leader periodically ringing a small, clear bell. A temporary stone altar was built under a huge oak tree in a gorgeous field of green grass and abundant wildflowers, a small statue of a baby Buddha was placed upon it in a metal basin. Then each person would in turn approach the altar, ladle one thin-lipped bamboo dipperful of sweet green tea over the statue, bow, and walk to one side. In New York, the International Lotus Lantern Parade has been a notable and successful annual event held at Union Square Park. The event celebrates the Buddha's birthday and Yun Deng Ho, Yun Deng Ho, a Korean lantern celebration that is held during Visak. The festival features a number of Buddhist themed events and is started off by numerous Buddhist centers of Japanese, Korean, and Sri Lankan origins, for example. <laughs> See also